story to tell. Nearly 50 years after the first F-16 was born, the production line of this aircraft is still running at full capacity to supply customers. Lockheed Martin even had to expand its production line to deliver the F-16V on schedule to Taiwan. According to Military Watch, Lockheed Martin, the largest U.S. arm manufacturer, has announced the opening of a new F-16 Fighting Falcon production line in Greenville, South Carolina. Lockheed Martin won a contract worth $14 billion. By 2026, 128 new F-16 fighters will be delivered to foreign customers, including Bahrain, Slovakia, Bulgaria, and Taiwan. Half of these will be delivered to Taiwan. This is an extremely important contract in helping Lockheed Martin continue to maintain the F-16 production line. The F-16 made its maiden flight in 1974 and joined the U.S. Air Force in 1978. Remember, three years ago, older production line in Fort Worth, Texas, was closed. With new orders, the F-16 is the most produced fourth-generation fighter, serving in the most countries. Currently, the F-16 and F-15 are the two oldest fighters still in production in the world, with a history of nearly 50 years. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is classified as a light fighter with low operating and maintenance costs. For various reasons, mainly political, some countries are forced to buy F-16s rather than more modern fighters like F-35 or Su-35. The batch of F-16V fighters is expected to be assembled on the new production line in Greenville in 2022, and there will likely be more orders for this fighter, so that the line can continue to operate until after 2027. Speaking about the opening of the new production line, Brian Pearson, the U.S. Air Force F-16 Share Program Manager, said the production line means a lot to Lockheed Martin. Currently, 25 countries and regions are using F-16 fighters. However, some U.S. officers and foreign customers, like Singapore, say that the F-16 is becoming increasingly outdated. Currently, some countries have begun to retire early versions of the F-16A and B, such as Egypt and Israel, while countries like Thailand and Iraq may soon be equipped with new versions of the F-16. The U.S. Air Force also converted some old F-16s into UAVs. As of the end of 2020, more than 4,600 F-16s have been produced. Although the designs of this aircraft have been around for a long time, 
the price of the F-16V is still extremely expensive. It is even significantly more expensive than the Russian Su-35 heavy fighter. Paying tens of millions of dollars for an F-16, almost no changes to the airframe, an old F-110 engine, and a hydrator construction. However, it is still attractive to many countries to buy and continue to use. My video about the F-16 production line answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.